So it's a grower friendly tree, it's quite apical dominant as you can see in the background it grows quite tall. It's uh, very precocious so I guess we're understanding for the first year or two we have to be a little bit careful and make sure we grow the tree um, before we crop it otherwise we finish up with quite big fruit but once the tree's a couple of years old or a little more then you can start to crop and still have that balance between crop load but it is highly productive it's very precocious. As far as managing the trees is concerned uh, it has the tendency to be a very highly productive apple variety. Uh, some of the blocks here at Applethorpe have yielded uh, over 100 tonnes per hectare for four years in a row, which is quite exceptional. Um, and thankfully, you don't have to interfere too much once you've got nice, calmly settled trees. Uh, Kaylee tends to be a spreading apple tree, um, so it naturally wants to um, have limbs that will come down, whether you interfere and tie them down, or if you want to crop them, fairly early in the piece and allow the crop to bring the limbs down. Uh, they'll do that quite nicely for you. Uh, we do a bit of limited touch-up pruning during the winter and we maintain a, a strongly vigorous upright central leader and um, let the rootstock hopefully do the rest. And clearly you have to have a nice open tree like these are. These are M9. Uh, I guess whilst you can grow um, other rootstocks, but I think it is well adapted to more dwarfing rootstocks. And the size is very homogeneous. And I think most people look at that and think that's a really, you know, if you get it right and the thinning load's right, then everything's the right size. Uh, one of the things we've found is that Kaylee tends to be a large apple, so much of the tree management should focus on trying to make sure that you get consistent high crops from year to year and we have actually developed some fruit growth curves just as a guide through the thinning process so that instead of the standard practice of tending to pull off the smaller apples at thinning we will tend to pull off the larger apples at thinning. Um, well obviously it's um, scab resistant, so it's resistant to apple scab or black spot as we tend to call it in Australia, um, which is why Kaylee was developed in the first place. Obviously it also had to be a high quality apple. Um, serendipitously it's also resistant or at least tolerant to alternaria. Uh, we've always harvested Kaylee at or just before eating ripe and we've been pretty impressed with how it's come out of store whether it's in cold storage or CA storage. Um, the outturn's been very good and after storage or even after fresh picking the shelf life uh, 20 degrees can be up to three weeks. It retains that texture and crispness. Uh, the point of that is that coming back to the harvest time the apple colours up very late on the tree and certainly in our first few years of growing Kaylee I used to get quite concerned when you'd feel like you were getting closer and closer to harvest and the apples were still sort of browny, browny yellow colour and they weren't that beautiful red colour and then they sort of colour up very quickly quite spectacularly in the last seven days um, and that's basically the signal that yep go ahead and pick them. <laughs> 